So when we have a conversation about gender, you can't disentangle it completely from the conversation on sex. So I just want to clarify how those terms are used. Sex really just means what we assign to the person on the basis of their primary sex characteristics, right? Their genitalia. That's it. Gender is a lot more complicated. It's often expressed in terms of masculinity and femininity. That is usually what we mean when we say gender. Um, and it is largely culturally determined and assumed from the sex assigned from birth. So people are like, oh, you were designated female at birth or designated male at birth. Therefore, you kind of need to ex like express yourself in uh, ways that conform to the sex that you're assigned at birth, right? Uh, some people disagree with that relationship. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So what is your gender identity? It is your innate sense of your own gender, right? Which may or may not be corresponding to the sex you're assigned at birth. So you might have been assigned male, but you don't actually identify as a man. You don't actually feel that you were a man. So. What is cis? Why do we have this term? Do we have this term cis because we want to say that they're superior to trans? No. We have the term cis because we simply want to acknowledge that people's relationship with their bodies and with their gender is very different. And cis people are really lucky, right? So I consider myself cis and I consider myself lucky. Why? Because my gender identity you know, corresponds to the sex I was assigned at birth. I was assigned female and I identify as a woman. So my life is easy because, you know, I'm conforming to these things. But actually, there are people who don't have the same sense of comfort with the sex they were assigned at birth. And their lives are so much harder and we shouldn't make it harder for them, right? And for these people, they, you know, are labeled as trans. So right now, we have the umbrella term trans. It's not a perfect term. So this umbrella term is used to describe people whose gender is not the same as or does not sit comfortably with the sex they were assigned at birth, right? This has nothing to do with their orientation or who you like or who you love. It is just about your gender identity. So you can be a man who is also attracted to a man. You're still cis because you still identify as a man, which is what you were designated at at birth, right? Um, an orientation is a term describing a person's attraction to other people. That is not necessarily, the, that's not the same as gender identity, right? This is where you say lesbian, gay, bi, or, you know, asexual. You're attracted sexually to others.